And David proceeded to speak to Jehovah the words of this song in the day that Jehovah had delivered him out of the palm of all his enemies and out of Saul's palm. And he went on to say, Jehovah is my crown and my stronghold and the provider of escape for me, my God is my rock. I shall take refuge in my shield and my horn of salvation, my secure height in my place for flight, my savior from, my, from violence. You save me on the one to be praised. Jehovah, I shall call, and from my enemies I shall be saved, for deadly breaking waves encircled me. There were flash floods of good-for-nothing men that kept terrifying me. The ropes of shield themselves surrounded me. The sneers of death confronted me in my distress, I kept calling upon Jehovah, and to my God, I kept calling. Then out of his temple, he heard my voice with my cry for help in his ears, and back and forth, the earth began to shake and to rock. The foundations of the heavens themselves became agitated and they kept shaking back and forth because he got then angered. Smoke went up at his nostrils and fire itself from his mouth kept devouring. Coals themselves blazed up from him and he proceeded to bound the heavens down and to descend and thick gloom was beneath his feet and he came riding upon a cherub and came flying and he was visible upon the wings of a spirit then he put a darkness around him as booths dark waters thick clouds from the brightness in front of him, burning coals of fire blazed up from heaven. Jehovah began to thunder, and the Most High himself began to give forth his voice, and he kept sending out arrows that he might scatter them, lightning that he might throw them into Thin confusion in the stream beds of the sea became visible. The foundations of the productive land became uncovered at the rebuke of Jehovah from the blast of the breath of his nostrils. He was standing from on high. He was take, talk, talk, taking me. He was drawing me out of great waters. He was delivering me from my strong enemy, from those hating me because they were stronger than I was. They kept confronting me in the day of my disasters, but Jehovah became my support, and he proceeded to bring me out into a roomy place he was rescuing me because he had found a light in me. That was awesome. I wanted to see what it was going to be like to be six foot six. But... <laughs> anyway. Nice job, Ian. I think that is the longest reading, and I gave it to a seven-year-old. <laughs> but you did a very nice job. We turned the timer off, but even with that, you were really close to the four minutes, too. So very nice job. 
Ian was working on number two, which is words clearly spoken. And one of the things that's difficult, especially when you first are reading from the Bible up on up here, is you get to certain verses, like on verse five, where it takes a word and it breaks it up from one line to the other, like terrifying. And but you got that, and then verse six as well confronted me. It was from one line to the other, but yet you nailed it. And all through it, when that happened, you got it good. And even though you, I think you're out of breath, <laughs> you did a really nice job. Thank you, Ian.